Hey guys, it's Matt, and welcome to the second Redstone 101 episode about the Twisted Tree Line. Um, this episode I'm going to show you how the towers work, or rather just how you attack the towers, not how they attack you. That'll be the next video. But rather than being on the actual Twisted Tree Line map, I figured it'd be a better idea just to show you how it is, but all out in the open. It'll be spread out a little bit so you can see how it is and see how simple it is, really. The confusing part is how you have to compact it into such a small area and transmit the signals up and down the tower. But apart from that, it's actually quite simple, really. Um, so first of all, you've got the two things you need to attack, which are actually um, minecarts on ra on um, what are they called detector rails. And let me just get all the crap that I need. Um, you know, I use normal stone. So if you have, say, if I have it up here, if you have a detector rail like that, and then you put a minecart on it, like that, it actually transmits a redstone signal. Now, the way I did it in the actual map was I had to have it down here and then take it down and everything, but since space isn't an issue here, I'm just going to make it nice and big so you can see quite simply how it works. So I had two of those, so I'll put a second one here. Nope, there we go. Right. And then I had, because I wanted them to turn on when you shoot them, so I inverted the signals like that. Now, the way you hit them is someone had to stand on a pressure plate. So someone had to stand on a pressure plate on the side of the tower, which meant they couldn't hit those, so someone else had to hit them. But I'll have that pressure plate just here for now. And what happened then was there were two pistons in front of it, which are there and there. And, oh, no, they have to move on forwards, because pistons can get powered by diagonal blocks to them. And they're the only blocks that can do that. And it's annoying, but it gives you some pretty cool features. So, anyway, that's beside the point. If we just go underneath here now and place some redstone like that, that should power them. Nope, of course not. Um, yeah, okay, so what, I'd, what we'll do instead is I just want to make this, like, this has to be a bit more compact. And that noise is really loud. That's from the music level of It's Better Together, which is... A bit annoying but anyway we'll put that there and that there now this oh, typical right that shouldn't get powered no oh, yeah it will because it's underneath that damn it right okay because i still want i don't want any redstone to be in front of it because i still want this to be roughly the same right okay i don't want to have to do it like this but it looks like that's the only way i'm gonna have to put two torches like that bring the redstone out that uh, nope bring the redstone down a block and connect it that way and bring it out there. So they're up at the moment, so which means if we have two blocks there, and then we bring these out and put blocks in the middle and on the top around the minecarts, like this. Picture them being picture they're having blocks on top of as well. You can even have blocks behind it like that. Get rid of that. But blocks on top as well, but they're not needed. So in fact actually I'll just show them there for now. So we'll have, we'll have there, those there like that. So imagine that's the front of the tower and you can't see them. All you do is someone stands on the pressure plate that connects to those pistons and it lowers the pistons, but unlowers them when you're not there. And to see that better, I'll, bring a, I'll make a pressure plate here as well. So, they, so someone stands there so someone can shoot the arrows in, like that. Now, we want to have an output now for when they both blow up. So what this output's going to do is it's going to blow up the tower so it'll go to some TNT but what it'll also do is also go to the next tower and um, if you picture this section here if this is the second tower like this um, so it's exactly the same as that picture that over here you've got the you've got the second input and that'll lower the gates for that however I don't want people to be able to lower these until they've destroyed the tower in front of it so what I did with that is quite simply is I put a piston like this with a block and then I just put repeaters either side of it now this still goes into the tower and lowers those pistons but when this blows up this will send an output to here that will push that block into place which means the current will be able to get through it obviously that tower is not blown up yet so this won't light up because the output from this tower hasn't turned that on but that's beside the point that's just how I did that as well in the actual map um, that's going to irritate me that, but whatever. Um, so, we want the, that to turn on when both of these are blown up. In other words, we want the output to turn on when both of these are turned on. 
So that's an AND gate. So we'll just bring those into an AND gate, which is quite simple. Oops. It's just three blocks with a torch from each of the inputs. So each input goes to a torch. A torch is the output. Then these two torches go to that and turn that off. So when these both turn on, these will both turn off, allowing that to turn on. If one of them turns on, that will turn off, but that will still be on. So that will stay off. And that is basically all there is to it. So that lowers the gate. That lowers the front of it. And then if I was if I replace that with a wooden plate, so I can put, drop an item on it and keep it open. This output's off at the moment. In fact, you know what? See, so we can have a visual representation of it. We'll put some TNT there. So that if I just chuck that t t TNT on there, I'll whack out a bow like this. And then we'll shoot both of them. Also as well, what I did here is I had two um, red uh, lamps on top of it. I uh, don't need that anymore. And all I did with the lamps is I had them tied to these here. So I had them turn on when they were blowing up. So now that's on, what I would have done is I'd have... Oops, no, not that. That's, that's pretty bad. What I would have done is... I would have just wired this up here. Basically just like that, actually. Let's see. Um, it would have been like that. Um... Yeah, like that. Oops. Like that. Except I would have made it so... How, do, how would I invert this here? Um, see, this is the problem. Um, the problem is just trying to get it to fit. Now, if I'm not trying, since I'm not trying to get it to fit properly, I could just do this. Like that. And I would torch behind it. Like that. And if we do the same for the other side... Put one here. This one should stay off because we've got a redstone current coming up this time. It goes back there. Then no, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, it does. Comes out here. We have a block there. Torch behind it. Repeater, and bring that down. And that turned that one off still. So that's all that was. It's just a visual thing, so you know which one to attack. It probably would have been better if they were the opposite way around. So the ones that are on, you have to hit, and it would be simpler as well. But anyway, hit that. That turns on. It auto ignites the TNT because the AND gate is done, and that's the tower then blowing up. And that is basically all it is. To, all there is to it. It's a very simple design. There's not much to it. The main problem is getting this to fit inside the tower, because not only have you got this, you've also got the button on the other side. Oh, I've just picked up the item. You've also got the button on the other side, which goes to the defences, which spark all of the splash potions. You've also got a dispenser in here, hitting splash potions where that pressure plate is, to get the person off the plate. It, there's quite, and then you've got all the TNT, you need a bit more than that to blow up the tower. So there's quite a lot of stuff compacted in it, but the actual redstone is simple. The main problem is compacting it. But... That's how the towers worked in the Twisted Tree Line for anyone who's interested. And as always, I'll see you in the next video, guys.